All right, let's do STAR 2023 Algebra 1, Part 18, by Professor Alfredo Gil Alvarez, Jr., 11 11 22. We're going to do questions 364 to 373. All right, ready? Y'all ready? I say yes, we are ready to go. Right now, if you need college money, money for college right there, university, all Margie's. Great boss, great work, great food, open 24 hours, we're looking for workers, more hours, more money. But let's say you don't need that right now. Let's get out of here. All right, so let's go and start right here. All right, so graph Aiden's $8 million home that will increase in value at the rate of 10% per year. Okay, so here's a function, f of x equals 8, 1.10 to the x power. So now, here's the numbers we're going to use. So put f of 0, 8 times 1.10 to the 0 is going to be this. 1 times that is going to give you f of 0 is 8. So that's, well, you know what? Let's just do it in a calculator. How's that? Let's just do this. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it'll help you. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So we're going to put in 8 parentheses, 1.10 to the power of 0. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter. And I get 8. You see it right there? f of 0 is 8. Now you can hit second enter. And just change the number up there, the power. So now the next one's going to be 5. So put a 5, hit enter. We're going to get 12.88408, this number here. And round it off to 12.88. So you can go ahead and use this graphing calculator. That will help you, I think. All right, so now, got the first one. F of 0 is 8. F of 5 is 12.88 after we round it. Okay, yes. After you study for Algebra 1, go Mustang Island somewhere. Remember, sharks eat only in the day. So you can swim at night. All right, now, part two. So f of 10, same thing, put in your calculator. You're going to get this number, round it off to 20.75. f of 15, you're going to get this number here, but round it off to 33.42. f of 20, you're going to get 53.82. And f of 25, I'm going to round it off to 86.68. Now, I have the numbers here, x the years, and the dollars and millions of dollars that Aiden's house is worth. So now remember, sharks sleep at night, so it's safe to go swimming then. So now I'm going to use a graphing calculator. We did that to do this. So now, part three, use a graphing calculator. This is how you set up the, the windows. See the windows how I set it up? In fact, let me just do that. Let me just, let me set up the windows for you guys. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go windows and see the numbers here match. Negative 2, the 30, the 1, the negative 5, the 90, and the 1. All these numbers match. So now... I'm going to put in y, and I'll just do it again. Let me see. So I'm going to put 8 parentheses, 1.10 to the power of x. Where's x? Right there. So now hit enter. So now there is a function that looks just like this one here, but I'm going to let the machine do it. Hit graph, and it's going to draw the graph. And there it is. Just check it out. You see it? So now... I have the graph, it's an, it's an exponential growing like this, growing function, but we can do trace if you want to. See the trace right there? It'll give you numbers like at 15.02, it's going to be 33.485, and then you can move it up, keep going on, and get the other numbers. Or you can do second table, and that gives you numbers like at 0, it's 8, at 5, it's 12.884, Go keep going down. You want to go to 10, let's say. At 10, it's 20.75. Keep going. 15. Whatever numbers you need to get from there, you can get it from there. Okay? So now, we got that. Now, let's graph this. Part 4. So now, if we put these numbers in here, of 0, you at 8, it's $8 million. That's what it was originally, initial. Then 5 years later, it's worth $12.88 million. 10 years later, it's worth $20.75 million. 15 years later, it's worth 33.42. 20 years later, it's 53.82 million. And then 25 years later, Aiden's house is worth 86.68 million dollars. So it's a good investment, I think. Anyway, let's go to the next question. All right, graph the quadratic functions. f of x equals x squared. F g of x equals negative x squared plus 4. So f of x equals x squared, you can put it in the long way, like this. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Or you can put it in the calculator. I will do it in the calculator. F of negative 1, same thing. You can just put it in the calculator. Let the number come out. F of 0, 0 times 0 is calculator. F of 1, 1 times 1 is 1. 
and f of 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So we have the numbers for the f of x equals x squared function. There's the numbers. Negative 2 is this, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So now, let's do the other one. Let's do the g of x, negative x squared plus 4. Again, same thing. You can put the numbers in there, do it the long way, like I did right here, or put it in your graphing calculator. I would say put it in your graphing calculator, just right there. You get a 0. Put the next one, g of negative 1, you're going to get a, a 3. g of 0, you're going to get this. g of 1, you're going to get 3. And g of 2, you're going to get 0. So again, we have our table right here with the numbers, order pairs. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and graph it. Again, you can set up your graphing calculator to make it match this, and it'll draw the two graphs for you. So I would do it this way also. That's another way to do it. So now, and when we draw it, let's do it. So we have the points. We have negative 2 and 4. You have a negative 1 and 1. We have 0, 0. We have 1 and 1. We have 2 and 4. There's a graph right there. This is a f of x equals x squared. There it is. g of x is negative x squared plus 4. The numbers are negative 2, 0. Uh, negative 1, 3. 0, not 4. 1, 3. And then... 2 and 0. So there's a, the graph of g of x. Okay? Yes, sharks eat anything, by the way. Anything. Where is anything? They eat everything. Alright, next question. Solve the systems of equa linear equations by elimination. Hmm. Example P is the calories in a regular slice of pizza, C is calories in a stuffed crust slice of pizza. Think of it that way. Alright, so there's a, our equation, systems of linear equations. So I multiply this. See the see the three and the five. I just put the five here and changed it to a negative. And the three I kept it the same. So those two numbers right here they just flipped. Now this is a negative. The reason is because when you multiply negative five times all of this, you're gonna get negative ten p, negative fifteen p. C equals negative seventeen thousand. And this one's gonna give you this right here, twenty four p, fifteen c, and that. Now notice positive and negative right here. Are those going to cancel out? The answer is yes, they are. So guess what? These are gone. So you have 14p plus 0 is that. 14p is this. So now what are we going to do? Divide by 14, divide by 14, and guess what? P is 500. So the regular size of pizza, 500 calories. That's one answer. Find the second answer. Substitute it into the first one up there. So P is 500 times that. It's 1,000. So now subtract 1,000 from both sides. So 3C equals 2,400. Divide by 3, divide by 3. So C equals 800. Stuffed crust slice of pizza. So there's our answers. That What is it? Calories in a regular slice of pizza, 500. Calories in a stuffed crust slice of pizza, 800. See, it's not bad. 3,400 calories for lunch, 8,000 calories for lunch. That's not bad. All right. Next one. Solve the quadratic equation. We're going to factor it out. Look at the last number, 24. 24 times 1, 2 times 12 times 2, 6 and 4, 3 and 8. All possible numbers, but I'm going to take the 6, 4. I say x minus 4 and x plus 6 works. Let's check it down here, though. Let's check this right now. So, x times x, is that going to give you x squared? Yes. x times that is going to be 6x. This times this is going to be negative 4x. And that one times that one is negative 24. So, x squared, this right here is going to give you 2x minus 24. Does this match the one up there? The answer is Yes, it does. It does match it. Okay, so we can say x minus four equals zero, x minus four plus four, zero plus four, so x equals four. There's a positive solution. X plus six equals zero, so minus six minus six both sides. These are gone, so x equals negative six. The negative solution. So we have a positive solution and we have a negative solution. X equals four. X equals four right here. X equals negative six, or x equals negative six is a negative solution. Some videos you might look at if you want to. All right. Solve the systems of linear equation by elimination. We're going to try to get rid of the, the y. Let's do that. So, uh, again, see the 2 and the 5? I just put negative 5, negative 5, 2 and 2 here. The reason is because when you multiply this across, you're going to get negative 10x, negative 10y equals negative 10. And 2 times all of this right here is going to give you negative 10x, 10y. And then see the y's? 10y minus 10y is gone. So you have negative 20x plus 0 is this. Negative 20x is negative 60. Divide by negative 20. Divide by negative 20. So x is a 3. Put it back. Substitute it back in the first equation up there. This one right here. 
So now we have 2 times 3 is 6. So now we're going to go minus 2, minus 2 on both sides. And yes, these cancel right here. Let me do that. So now we have 4 equals negative 2y. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. So y is what? Negative 2. So x and y, x is what? 3. And y is what? Negative 2. This is solve the systems of linear equations by elimination. Ah, oh, solve the systems of linear equations by graphing. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to solve this for y first. See right here? This one there. So we're going to go minus 2, minus 2 on both sides. So now divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. So we have negative 1x plus 1 equals y, or negative x plus 1 equals y, or rewrite it as y equals negative x plus 1. Solve for y. Second one. Second, solve this one for y also. So, plus 5x plus 5x, so we have 5y equals negative 25 plus 5x, divided by 5, 5, 5. So then we have y equals negative 5 plus x, 5 is gone. So, rewrite it, y equals x minus 5. So now, there's y equals y equals. So now what we're going to do is put numbers in. So, y equals negative x plus 1. I try 0 in there. Put a 0 in there, 0, zero plus 1 is 1. Put a 3 in there. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So we got pairs of numbers right there. For the other one, y equals x minus 5, put the numbers in. Put a 0 in there. 0, so 0 minus 5 is minus negative 5. And put a 3 in there. 3 minus 5 is 8, negative 2. So we got pairs of numbers right here. So now, notice what we did. So 0, we had a 1, 0 and a 1. And then 3 and negative 2 is right there. So there's, there's a line right there. With this one. The other one, y equals x minus 5, I put 0, I got negative 5 down here. And then 3, I got negative 2 again. See the intersection right there where they hit, intersect? That's the answer again. 3 and negative 2 is the answer, the intersection. Okay? Got it? The intersection. Let me write this down so you can remember that. What? The intersection. That's the answer right there. Okay? Right there, right there, right there. All right, got it. Next one. Uh, graph the value of Aiden's 4x4 crew cab, crew cab used truck. Huh. Okay. So right now, it's worth 12500 but it's going to depreciate. So F of 0 is, put the calculator, use the calculator, you're going to get F of 0 is 12500 because it already has it right now, this value right now, initially. One year later, his car, his truck's gonna be worth ten thousand. Two years later, it's worth eight thousand. Three years later, it's worth six thousand four hundred. Four years later, it's worth five thousand one hundred and twenty. There's a table right there. Years and dollars for this four by four crew cab used truck. So now let's graph it. Graph the value of eight and four by four crew cab used truck. So. We, we can use, again, you can use graphing calculator if you want to. Or we have the table right there. Let's use the numbers. So at zero, it was 12,500. One year later, it was 10,000. Two years later, it's 8,000. Three years later, 6,400. Four years later, is 5,120. And so this is the years. Again, this is the years, and this is the money right here. Thousands of dollars, thirteen thousand. Okay. Next question. Find the equation line to the two points. Okay, so we have two points, right there, right there, or two points there. They are. Okay. So now we don't find the equation line. Find the equation of the line. Okay, let's go. So what I'm gonna do is x1, y1. That's what that is. x2, y2. That's what that is. So now put the numbers in there. See the y1. Put it in there. And y1 there, and y2. Put it in there. X1, it's this number. X2 is this number. Put it in there. Min X minus X1, which is uh, that number again. So I'll put the numbers in the formula. Two-point formula. There it is. And I wrote it this way. 1, Y, 1, 2, X1, X2. That's, that, that works. They work both ways. So now we have Y minus 1. This is going to be negative. Negative is positive. And we have negative 1, negative 11. So we have 3 over negative 12. And negative and negative is positive 1. So now we have 3 over negative 12, which is 3 times negative 1, 3 times 4, same thing. 3's cancel. So we have negative 1 fourth times this. So negative 1 fourth times this is negative 1 fourth x. 
and negative one fourth times one is negative one fourth. So now add one to both sides. See right here, these are gone. So now one and a four, I can't do that one, but I'm, if I make it a four, four, and the negative one fourth, I can put this together easy. So this is gonna be y equals negative one fourth x plus negative one plus four, which is gonna be what? Three fourths. So y equals what? Negative one fourth x plus three fourths. Uh, so all the quadratic equation. So I'm gonna do is rewrite it. See this right here? The eight x, bring it over here. The negative eight, bring it over here. So now we have this form. Now, I can factor out a two from all of these because two times that is this and two times four is eight and two times that is eight also. So now this right here, I'm gonna guess that four, one, two, two, I'm gonna try two and two. Two and two right there, negative, negative. Okay, x minus two, x minus two, let's check it. Let's see. So x minus two, so x times x is x squared, negative two x, negative two x, negative to negative is positive four, x squared minus 4x plus 4, 2 times that is this, 2x squared, 2 times that is negative 8x, 2 times that is 8. So it does work, that's good. So, x minus 2 equals 0, add 2, add 2, x equals 2. x minus 2 equals 0, add 2, add 2. So here, okay, we added. And we, look, we had the same answer, 2 there and 2 there. So it has one, it's the same thing, it repeats itself. So the answer is what? Okay, again, sharks eat only in the day, so you can swim at night. It's okay. Sharks won't bother you. When you're out there mustang out and having fun. Ah, simplify this guy. Hmm. All right, so we start off with this. So now, first thing I'm going to do is see the parentheses right here? B to the 2 power and 3. Just rewrite it as 2 times 3. Multiply the powers. So 2 times 3 is 6. And so now we have A10, B6, A15. So now we're going to subtract power. See this one? Where's the big number right here? 15. So you need to take the 10 from the 15. So B to the 6, leave it alone. A to the 15 minus 10. And that's going to give you B to the 6 over what? A to the 5. Right there. That's the answer. Okay. And we, and a good thing is sharks want you for lunch. That's what I heard. They want you for lunch. Ah, uh, what does this say? Which situation shows causation? So what is this see? So the number of tennis rackets you own will affect how many games you will win. No, that's not it. The number of tennis shoes you own will affect how many times, how many tennis games you will win. No, that's not it either. How about this? The amount of time an electric car is used affects the charge on its of its battery. Yes, that's right. The more using it, better lower. Yep. The number of fees on your dog will affect the number of cookies in your cookie jar. <laughs> no, that's not it either. It has to be C. Alright. Oh, that's the end of this This right here. So now, once you finish all this Algebra 1 stuff, yes, get your surfboard, go out there to Mustang Island, Galveston, Padre Island, somewhere, have fun. Surfing. Or, if you have lots of money, go to Hawaii, of course. It's more expensive. But, it's fun. Go out there with your Hawaiian stuff on the ocean and big old waves, 40 foot waves. Might break your surf in little pieces, but that's okay. You can always take the little decals off it and put it in a, a new surfboard. Anyway, there you are, looking down at the ocean. There you go. Your arm, Hawaiian stuff. All right. And holy cow, math monster. Not scary anymore. We know Algebra 1 stuff. We're not scared of this math monster anymore. Math is actually fun now. Okay, what's more scary than... Nope, it's not scary. Math monster is not scary. Holy cow! These guys are pretty scary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But nah, the math, the algebra one was more scary. How about holy cow? One, two, three, six, seven of these, these. Nah, algebra one was more scary. It was more scary than these guys. Hmm. Uh, seven, seven. There it is. And holy cow! The giant crunchy one is that more scary than the algebra one? Nah, no way. I'm throwing, it used to be scarier. How about, oh, about two of them. Crunchy guys, crunchy two and crunchy three. More scary? Nah. Anyway, good luck. This is Professor Alfredo Galvez saying good luck. Professor Alfredo Galvez saying good luck on your Algebra 1. Uh, just study and you'll do great on it. Again, good luck, good luck, good luck. Professor Alfredo Galvez, Jr. Bye.